Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today we are taking a look at the iPad Smart Keyboard Folio. Now we made a video in the past of this, but this is the second version or the new one that just came out along with the newer iPads. Of course, here I have my current iPad Pro, which we'll be taking a look at. You might be wondering why would I use it on the old iPad Pro when it came up with the new ones? Well, this is the one that Apple's gonna sell now. Uh, from now on for the new iPad and for the old iPad as well. So I've taken off the protective or plastic film here because it's too reflective, but let's go ahead and open this up. It retails for $180 for the 11 inch, which I have here, and then $200 for the 12.9 inch model, which is definitely a lot. And they're gonna keep this one in along with the Magic Keyboard that's coming in in May, which is the new keyboard, the cool new keyboard. I bought this to check out to see if they changed any of the keys or if they changed any of the design or improved it. From the picture, it doesn't appear like they did. So if you have the old one, this isn't worth upgrading to, of course, and you probably know that. And even in the first place, this might not even be worth getting. Um, as I talked about in previous videos, but we'll get into that in a second. But let's go ahead and open this up, see if anything here has changed, which it would have been nice if Apple did, um, given that you know clearly they can make a really cool keyboard. And this one has not been the favorite of many. It works, but it's not the best out there. And uh, let's see what else we get in here. I don't know if we get anything else in here. Uh, not really, just some documentation about the keyboard folio. But uh, here it is. So this is the black one. And uh, of course, as always, the materials and everything used in these products are really good, especially when you compare it to any like knockoff smart cover or anything like that. So here I have like a $20 Amazon one, which does the job, but the inside material is always really, really bad. And, and it feels just terrible compared to the materials that they use inside of this, which you can see. Um, it looks like true microfiber as opposed to this, which just looks like some um, terrible material, which feels icky kind of so uh yeah this is the keyboard let me just see here it feels pretty much the exact same as previous years of course we have the smart connector right there let's just go ahead and dock our ipad here real quick of course we already now have mouse support so that's kind of cool so we can start using that now to test it out but here it just of course docks and uh, it automatically you know gives power to the case and you have your two positions right here in case you're not familiar with it. Now, uh, interestingly enough, the Magic Keyboard will cost like 300 to 350. This one is 180 to 200. So of course, if you're looking for a keyboard from Apple, this is gonna be the most like affordable choice than uh, the Magic Keyboard. Of course, the other one's gonna be a full on actual keyboard with actual trackpad and actual tactile keys. I think they purposely didn't update this because then you would buy this with the new keys as opposed to the new Magic Keyboard with the trackpad. It would have been nice to just get a Magic Keyboard with trackpad, Magic Keyboard without the trackpad, save that money and you know use a normal um, wireless mouse, which people prefer to trackpads in a lot of cases. So let's just move this over to the side so you can see that there. I think you got a good view there of how everything looks. And this would be kind of your setup now with iPads, which is something that I've been looking forward to for the longest time. So here we can just type. And I've just never really been a fan of this keyboard because it feels, oh, oh Jesus. I don't know if you heard that, but a bird just flew into my window. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, this is kind of the new setup that you're gonna start seeing at places like Starbucks and everything, even though you kind of already do kind of see this setup, but this just makes so much more sense than having to ever touch the screen on the iPad. So this right here is super comfortable. By default, this comes with reverse scrolling, which is, I'm, I've never been a big fan of it, and Apple's always pushing it. I haven't found how to switch it, but I guess I'll, I'll search for it later. It must be in settings somewhere. Um, but everything works really well. I've been playing with this and it just, feels so great. Of course, one of the pros of getting this keyboard as opposed to any other one in the market is just the ease of use. It's really, really easy to use this thing. It feels really good. It still keeps the iPad very slim. It really doesn't add much weight to it at all. And things just feel very cohesive, very nice. And uh, let's see the back here. We do have an Apple logo in the back. I do not recall if the previous one had an Apple logo, so uh, we'll have to check that on the previous video and I'll probably overlay it here, but uh, you got the Apple logo right there. Of course, the cutout now is square for the new iPad and also for this one, so that encompasses the flash and it doesn't look that bad on the old iPad either. This is how the Magic Keyboard will also look on the current gen iPad Pro, so if you're gonna get that for your current gen, that's how it'll look right there, which uh, not bad, looks pretty good. And I have a skin on this, of course, but I don't really recommend skins. I only have that one on there because um, 
I hadn't gotten Apple Care for it, then I did, and then I just never took it off. But uh, yeah, there we go. And you can actually, just as a little thing, you can actually sleep it or wake it up from sleep with just the mouse, which is actually really great. So uh, you can see that there, there it is in action. You just use it like you would. And you can actually even set some of these um, buttons on here to do different things. So right now if I'm here in Safari, I can actually click this. It'll take me to multitasking right here in the back one. And then I can also go home um, completely. So that's kind of nice because I can just be doing something, blah, 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 let me go home. It takes me home without having to bring it down and, and click and do a bunch of actions. You can just use the different keys on your mouse and map those in settings, which is really great. You can also increase the size of the pointer in settings. And I know I'm kind of talking about that, but it's because it's a really big feature. And now this is kind of the part of the workflow now with a mouse or a trackpad. And uh, as far as this mouse goes, it's actually a very nice mouse. I would recommend it. It's still like ergonomic and it feels really good. And I'll have a link down below in the description in case you wanna check it out. But I think for the price, what you get with this mouse, it's very nice. And uh, it works really well with this. It uh, really plug and play, scrolling works well. Everything just really works as you would expect it to. One of the things that I actually have not tried is um, playing games on it. I think this is much better with if you had like a trackpad just because uh, given the nature of the iPad, I think a trackpad makes more sense. But uh, let's go ahead and load up something here. Like if you were playing Hearthstone, would that work, you know? Um, that'd be interesting to see. All right, so here we have Hearthstone loaded up so that we can see if we could use this kind of as a gaming PC almost, right? Now, because you can switch between things, have things open, have be playing some music or something and, and playing this game. But uh, of course, you can see the mouse very easily there, or at least a pointer. And it looks very, very good there. Uh, let's see, let's drag a card here. We are in a ranked game, so we're about to forfeit and let him uh, win. So there we go. Obviously you can't use it, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. But uh, yeah, works perfectly fine. You can drag and everything, you can do everything, you can just be playing and it feels so good. It really does feel incredible to be able to do this now. Um, and obviously I know people will say like, it's such a basic feature, like other tablets have had this for the longest time. Yes, but it's implemented really well and you can't deny that. The way they implement it, it just instantly works. It's uh, it's really nice and it's been a long time coming because I'm personally a huge iPad fan. Like the, if I had to choose one device to have, it would be an iPad over an iPhone. I think it just completes everything really well. Um, and uh, you know, you can use it as a laptop, you can, you can edit videos on it, you can do a lot of things on it. So it's a really good thing. So let's go ahead and forfeit here. Uh, concede, give him the free win on here. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go home. Now, one of the interesting things about a keyboard like this is, is of course that it's so much more expensive and you're not getting much more than uh, just getting like a $20 thin wireless keyboard for this on Amazon that has a little bit more keys, a little bit more space and makes it easier for you to uh, kind of use the key. So if we take this off real quick, let's go ahead and remove our iPad. And now let's go ahead, let's imagine an alternative in which you don't want to spend that much money, but you want the exact same effect. So you go onto Amazon, you get a cheap smart cover, which is about $20 on Amazon. You prop it up like that when you get to Starbucks, you take out your keyboard, you set it like so. Now we got a very similar situation going on here. Set it like so, you all you gotta do is turn it on and it'll automatically connect through Bluetooth. So let's see here, nope, it's not doing it, so. There we go. All right, and now we have a basically very similar setup. So, um, you know, you type away and you're kind of more used to maybe a kind of keyboard like this. Of course, the other one is quiet and in a setting like Starbucks, I think I would definitely prefer the this keyboard from Apple. It's just a lot more expensive. Um, but you can see there, works just as well. The keys you do have to press down a little bit harder than Apple's. Apple's are a little bit easier to click and they, again, they sound a little bit less loud. You do get a couple more keys here um, on the top and everything for media and brightness. That's not something you get with Apple's keyboard. So it makes this a little easier without having to use special keys or anything. And everything works as just as you'd expect again. So we can just switch between apps there and continue doing the exact same thing. And then one of these keyboards is gonna set you back probably another 20 to $30. So that's a total of 50 bucks as opposed to minimum 180 if you get the 11 inch case here. So 
Um, it really depends. Do you want something that's very easy to use or are you willing to sacrifice the ease of use for something that you'll have to set up every time, but you save quite a bit of money and uh, you can use that for a lot more important things. So it just really depends. But then again, you know, if you were gonna buy a laptop instead of this, then you might as well just spend on the keyboard or on the Magic Keyboard. But however, this one works really well and I don't think you're missing out much. The other keyboard is gonna be a heck of a lot better um, just because it is more of a traditional keyboard. But we'll see if it does feel better because again, it is gonna be floating up higher. So I don't know if maybe the, the weight is gonna be off. It's gonna be easier to tilt over or for it to fall or anything. So we will have to see for now, if you're not interested in the price of the Magic Keyboard and you're looking into this one and uh, you're interested in specifically something that's just gonna plug and play, then this is a good keyboard. I don't think you will regret it. You'll enjoy the keyboard and it works really well feels really good, and especially with mouse support now, the keyboard makes a lot more sense than it did before. So again, this is the one for the 11 inch, $180. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below as well, or on Twitter or Instagram at RMRDNL, and I will always get back to you there too. So thanks for watching this video, really appreciate it. Links for all these things will be down below in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.